Hey guys, welcome back to Think Making. This is Anton, and today I'll show you how to upgrade your current extruder to an E3D V6. I know this is not the same for all printers, but it should be more or less the same process, especially if you have a Prusa i3. To start off, gather what you'll need. Besides the E3D V6, you'll only need a screwdriver, a small wrench, and a couple of zip ties. Now, prepare the printer by raising the Z-axis all the way to the top. This will give you much more room to work with. Now, remove the filament from the extruder. To do this, preheat the hot end, then remove the two screws from the extruder idler and pull the filament out. Next, remove any filament that leaked out of the extruder. Turn off your printer and wait for the hot end to cool down. To have even more space to work with, I removed the layer fan and set it aside. Then, proceed to removing the heater cartridge and the thermistor from the hot end. Once you've done that, remove the two screws holding the hot end in place. Then hold the X carriage with one hand while pulling the hot end with the other. Just be careful not to break it apart. Now it's time for the upgrade, the E3D V6. Mine is already assembled, so to make the installation easier, I removed the cooling fan. Then you just need to insert it into the extruder, put the two screws back in, and tighten them firmly. Now you may snap the fan back on. Now that the new hot end is in place, you just need to rewire everything. To start off, turn your printer around so that the electronics are more accessible. Next, remove any cable sleeves used for the previous extruder and set it aside. Then unplug the old thermistor and heater cartridge from the RAMS board. Once you've done that, you're left with a mess of cables. To keep things neat and tidy, use the cable sleeves to route all the cables coming from the X carriage to the RAMS board. Then secure the cables with zip ties so they are facing up. This prevents them from hitting tall prints. Now connect the heater cartridge, fan, and thermistor to their corresponding terminals in the RAMS board. If you have any cooling fans on your electronics, put it back in place. And that's all the wiring you'll have to do. Piece of cake, right? Next, just insert some filament into the extruder, screw back the extruder idler, and if you don't need a layer fan, that would be all. But if you do, simply mount it to the extruder and wire it to the D9 terminal in the RAMS board. Well guys, that's all there is to know about the main steps required to upgrade your existing extruder to an E3D V6, at least on a Prusa i3 or similar 3D printer. I also suggest to make some test prints so you can fine tune your slicer settings to the new extruder. An Amazon link to the upgrade will be down in the description. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments section down below. And if you're interested in more videos like this one, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you wish to support our channel in other ways, you may also use our Amazon affiliate link in the description. Again, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.